Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to King Self Defense of Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, we're going to talk about the several different ways you can carry your cane. People like to carry their canes in different ways. I've seen several different people that I trained, and also people I see in the streets carrying their cane not the same way I do. Now, I'm going to be using just a basic cane with the regular crook and horn curved over. Um, I'm not going to be using one with a palm rest. I'm not going to be using one with a ball weight or a straight stick, but you can still do pretty much the same thing with either one of those canes. Now, one of the first things you see is people like to carry it, and I'm going to do the first two, what I call tip on the floor, when it's on the ground. They like to have the crook and horn facing to the inside of their body. Now, each technique that I'm going to show you, you have fast strikes you can do. So one of them is, without even chambering down, a quick hit to the head, a quick hit to the body, pop to the groin, or even coming up and doing a quick um, two-hand bayonet strike. I can even turn that horn away from me. Now, understand, when I did the bayonet strike, I didn't chamber down for any one of these techniques. I went tip on the floor swinging, tip on the floor coming up. So when I did the bayonet strike, I came up, my palm is to the top part. So it does give me a pretty good strike. Now, I can also, in that same position, if I wanted to simply shift down and go into a traditional, what I always show you how to do, chamber and strike. But we were talking walking with your cane or how you carry your cane going through life with quick strikes. Now, another way <clears throat> is having, I see people with their horn and crook facing to the outside of the body. You can still do the same thing. From here, I, I happen to be here, I can still strike to the head, strike to the body, hit to the groin, or come up and still do a two-handed bayonet strike. Now, can I chamber down this way a little bit? Yeah, I can catch a little part of this. I'll still come up and, and catch it and do all those techniques. But again, we're talking quick strikes from the way you're carrying your cane. Another way I see people is they like to walk with their cane. Now, they happen to have their cane like this. Some people like to do a brisk walk, quick walk to get exercise. Or they're walking through a mall and they happen to they don't want to you know, have it on the ground where might, somebody may run into it. Well, from this position, you've got so many different quick strikes. Obviously, now I've seen people carry it where the horn and crook are facing to the outside of their body. So again, you can do quick strikes. And you, know, you can go to even severe to the throat, to the bridge of the nose, soloplex, into the groin. You can also swing this side, that side, this side, and then, you know, yes, you can use your horn, hook them, and all that good stuff. Then I've seen people carry it where they have the horn and crook to the facing them. Pretty much the same technique. To the face, to the throat, solar plex, into the groin. You can fish hook them then, catch the side of the head, flip it around. You can still do all kinds of stuff. And my tip just flew off. I was wondering what that sound was. So you have all that. Then I've seen people that like to carry their cane since I don't have the tip on the floor. Not tip on the floor because maybe they don't have a tip on the floor. So they're sitting there walking and they're keeping their cane up in the air. Well, now guess what? You're already chambered, ready to fight. So now you can just simply do all those techniques I've shown you before because you're chambered, ready to go. Whether you're carrying it this way, or whether you're carrying it this way, where the horns are out or the horns in. So you can still do all those techniques. How do you want to carry your cane? That's entirely up to you. I would say walk around each way. Walk with it sometimes. See how it feels when you have the horn facing in or the crooked horn facing out. See how it feels when you're kind of already chambered walking around. Or basically when you have it halfway and you're just kind of hanging on to it, whether it's here or here. So, boom. Just see how you like it. Matter of fact, let me know how you like to carry your cane. You know, me, I carry it, I basically, if I'm walking, I carry it like this. If there's a problem, I can simply chamber and go right to action. If I'm getting more into a crowded area, I might bring it up and carry it like this when I'm inside a place. Especially when I'm inside a building and type type places, I don't want to knock anything over, so I'll kind of keep it up as I'm looking at stuff. But I'm ready to go. So, <clears throat> showing you several different ways you can carry your cane. 
And from each one of those ways, I showed you how you can do a quick strike. So hopefully those techniques help. Like I always say, make them yours, practice them, make them your own. And in the comments, let me know how you guys carry your cane. I think a lot of people would like to know. See how many people carry it a certain way. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm curious, I'm sure a lot of other people are. So, and if you like the videos, please hit like on the videos. If you like them, if you're getting something out of them, hit like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Just always trying to grow this channel. And I'll also be doing, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some different stuff, some stuff that's not exactly cane. I have people asking me to show them some other kind of small weapons that they could carry on them in case their cane falls besides a gun and besides a knife. Or also, somebody asked me a question about a, um, a knife that I use out in the, when I'm hiking or canoeing. I'll show that too. And I'm gonna show you guys a really good knife that you can get for a real good price and what you can do with it. But again, hopefully all those techniques help. Gary Hernandez, thank you. And I will see you guys very soon.